All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Fine, teacher. Hello. Hey, hello. How you doing, Angel? Hello, Boris. Hello, Jessica. Hello, hello Reina. Hello, hello, Luis teacher. Alonso. Hello, Maria. Hello, Christian. Hello, hello Katia. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Angel Gabriel. Hello, Alejandro. Welcome back, guys. Hello, teacher. How was your weekend? What did Relaxing, you do this? I think. What did you do this weekend? I work. Oh, nice. Where do you work? Um, a bank. You you work in a bank. In a bank. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Welcome back, guys. Who can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class on Friday? Who can tell me what you remember about the previous class on Friday? You said two. What do you remember? Uh, let me have uh, Boris. What do you remember about the previous class? We were talking about um, um, the skill phrases uh, mm -hmm. um, about uh, uh, what we we did um, mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. Uh, when someone, uh, well, uh, like a statement, I, I uh, was a messy, mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. I, I need, yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember, uh, okay. Yes. What What you used to do when you were a child? What did you like to do? What you didn't didn't do? Yes, of course. Excellent, Boris. Boris, select okay. a student. Select somebody. Okay. I chose Reina. Reina, Reina. Hello, Reina. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Very good. Very good. Can you tell me what do you remember about the class on Friday? Um, most lo de was, where, mm -hmm. uh, you said do. Mm -hmm. And also the used to, right? Used we were to. talking about used to, what you used, used to. to do when you were a child and what do you do now? All right. Can somebody give me an example? One volunteer, who can give me an example uh, in a sentence using used to? One example, please. I just Yes, one volunteer. For example, teacher, I, I used to play soccer when I was a kid. Excellent. I used to play soccer when I was a kid. Very good, Ricardo. Yes, Elizabeth. Okay, I used to walking every day. Uh, I used to walking or I used to walk? Uh, uh -huh. I used to walk, right? Después de usar el used to, el verbo va en? Uh, base form. Correct, form. Alejandro, base, base form, form. Base the form. original form, the base <laughs> form. Base correct, form. correct. Thank you. Original. All right, guys, today yeah. we're going to go ahead and move forward. And I would like one volunteer, one volunteer.
Me, teacher. All right, Andrea. Andrea, please tell me three things you used to do when you were a child that you don't do now as an adult. Uh, I used to a Barbie. Okay, you can say I used to play. Uh, you, uh, play to, to Barbie. Huh? Uh, um, I don't know, what do you say? The patines. <laughs> Skates. 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 And a, a but I don't know a but by by okay or, okay I use I use it to teacher I. I Las, perdón, lo voy a decir en español. Las oraciones no terminarían al final después de Bam Now eh, con okay. I do. Eh, no, no. Eh, esto es porque están en positivo. Si dijera I didn't used to, I sí. Por ejemplo, si usted dice eh, I didn't use to, digamos, I didn't use to work online. Y ahí puede decirlo, but now I do. But now I do. Huh. Yo antes no trabajaba en línea, pero ahora sí. I didn't use to work online, but now I do. Ahí sí. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Y la otra, uh, I used to play with dolls. Yeah, solía jugar con muñecas. But now I play, puede decir PlayStation, por ejemplo. PlayStation. O oh, I used to skate, uh, but now uh, I walk. For example, or oh, I used to ride a bike, but now I ride a motor cycle, for example. Mm -hmm. These are some examples. So los voy a mandar en el chat. Okay. All right. Any questions in regards to this information? Any questions in regards to this information? Okay. Now, what I would like for us to do um, is I want you to practice in pairs. And I want you to share with your classmates what things you used to do that now you don't do. You will have five minutes and then we will return to the class and you will express to the class your information. Let's go.
Eduardo, Carlos, Yanira, y Luis Alonso. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hey, good evening. La vamos a poner en el ocho. Y Carlos regalado en el siete. Y Eduardo en el seis. Ok, solo faltó Luis Alonso y Eduardo. Luis Alonso, no le funciona ni la cámara ni el micrófono. Ok. Gracias. Let me know if you have any questions. Vamos a hacer eh, oraciones, ¿verdad, teacher? Así usando el YouTube. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. We got Blanca, Ricardo, Jessica, and Angel. Good job. Se podría decir. I used to eat apple, but now I drink juice. ¿Cómo se dice jugo? Juice. 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 Yes. Juice. Yes. Uh, yo tengo dos ejemplos. Uh, I use, I used to play video games, but now I don't have free time. Okay. I used to enjoy video games, enjoy. but now I don't have free time. Correct. And I used to go to the gym, but now I do exercise in my house. Correct. I used to go to the gym, but now I do exercise at my house. No, no, no. At, at my house. At my house. Oh, at home. At home. I, este, I used to dance with was, with I am, no, I was a child, but now I, I not dance. <laughs> <laughs> I used to eat a lot of rice. Uh -huh. I used to drink a lot of uh, coffee, but now I don't. I don't uh -huh. drink. Um, I used to. I used. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, Reina. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Angel. Hello, Maria. Hello, Wilfredo. We are going to share. Jenny, please share with me your ideas. My ideas. Um, I. I. Almost, sorry. 
I used to I used to ride a bike when I was a child, but now I don't I don't exercise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Reina, let me hear your example. Um, I used to drink a lot of coffee, but now I don't. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Andrea, let me hear your example. Teacher, I'm the same example there to Reina. I didn't used to drink coffee, but now I drink. <laughs> but I have a, another example. Mm -hmm. I used to go to I used to go to kindergarten, but I didn't play with the child or with the child children. Children, children, <laughs> children. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, guys, now what you are going to do is you are going to change partners. We are going to change partners. Ready, let's go. Change partners. Uh, you can share your screen if you want to. Let's go. Hello. I I Hello. I used I used to to travel to La Union <laughs> at, and the Island Tacatillo. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> it's very beautiful. This interesting. <laughs> and you interesting. You, Yes. <laughs> I use I used to to swim in the beach. I don't listen. <laughs> I don't listen, no escucho. Perdón, perdón, es que mi, mi internet también no está muy bueno aquí, que digamos. De, ah. de pronto se me frisa, ah. pero continuemos a, a ver si dónde llego. Sí. Ah, ok. Entonces, hay en, yo al día. Excuse me. Su idea. Sobre esta, este uso de I used to, I used to, como yo solía hacer algo como antes, por ejemplo, como le decía, I used to, to travel to, to La Unión and the Isla en Zacatillo. And I, I really like, I really like this island because it's very beautiful. Excelente. Uh -huh. And you?
o Luis Alonso. I am Yusef Tubor in San Jose Pinula, Guatemala. Uh, vacation Zona Cero. Uh, Frejanes. Uh, I don't understand. Could you repeat, repeat please? Uh, en acción pasada. Entonces, cuando lo comparamos, lo tenemos que tener el verbo actual, digamos, ya en presente. En presente. Vaya. Sí, y la por tercera ejemplo, puse... Ay. Yeah. Elizabeth, ¿Sí? Elizabeth, it, now is here the teacher. ¿Sí? Mande. You can... I'm right here. Question. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hello. Hello, Lilia. teacher. Hello, Ricardo. Eh, Hello, Hi, Elizabeth. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Elizabeth, I ha, have a question me. about the the use the exercise. Just to okay, yes, okay. Elizabeth. What is your question? Um, uh, I was. Ay, ya me trabé. Dele los ejemplos, <laughs> no, Elizabeth. Es que tenía la... Ajá, uh -huh. teacher, eh, I write three examples. Number, the first example say, I used to visit my family every weekend. But ah, now I used I to didn't. visit it. So, allí, el verbo no tiene que ir en pasado. No puede okay. decir visit it. Tiene que decir visit. Ajá, uh -huh. visit it, puse. Okay. But I used to visit, visit my family every weekend, but mm -hmm. now I didn't visit my family. Ah, okay. Ahí sería. Number two. But, espérame, espérame, espérame. So, allí, usted va a decir, but now I, I don't. don't. But, but now. I don't. Porque ah, didn't no, es I pasado. Don't. Pero I usted está diciendo, it. but now, y después está diciendo, didn't. O sea, no puedes decir el didn't con el now. Es lo que le explicaba, teacher, que el verbo después you, tiene que ir en presente. Can you porque repeat, estamos comparando teacher? pasado con presente. Ajá, correcto. No okay. puede, no puede mezclar. Teacher. El, uh, hi. Can you repeat? Because okay, my don't... internet is down. In this moment, and oh, okay. I can hear um, the explain your su explicación. Uh -huh. The verb, the auxiliary verb, when is when you say but uh -huh. now, estamos cuando usted dice el momento que usted dice but now, ya cambia a present. So no podemos decir but Porque now. Porque pero ahora. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correcto. So, no podemos decir didn't. Los verbos tienen que ir en presente después del now, pues. Correcto. Ok, thanks a lot. Yes, of course. Teacher, I can say, I used to visit my family, but now I can because they live in the other country. Yes, I used to visit my family, but now I can't because they live in another country. No está diciendo ahí lo mismo. Hmm? Yo le... Yo le entiendo que, que, que no visitaba a la familia, pero, pero ahora vive en otra ciudad, entonces tampoco lo hace. No, no, no. Ahí está diciendo que ella solía visitar a su familia, pero ahora no puede porque ellos viven en otro país. I used to visit my family. Yo solía visitar a mi familia. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Me but confundí. now I can't, pero ahora no puedo. Because they live in another country. Okay. Let's go. Thank you, teacher. Yes.
All right, all right. Welcome back, Juan Eduardo, Andrea. Hello, Maria Lucia. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Luis Alonso. Hello, Nadia. Uh, let me have Maria Lucia. Can you give me your examples, please? Maria Lucia, let me have your examples, please. Lucia, teacher. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Maria. Let me have Nadia. Let me hear your examples. Yes, teacher. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, my internet is very bad now. Okay. Um, I use, my example is I used to visit my family by but now i cannot because they are live live in the other country uh because they are live or because they live in another country live that's right because they live in another country excellent thank you uh, let me have elmer let me hear your example I used to uh, ride a bicycle, but now I drive a car. Very good, very good. I used to ride a bicycle, but now I drive a car. Good job. Blanca Araceli. I used to clean the house myself. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say I used to clean the house myself? Yes. Okay, okay. And now who cleans your house? Out. Can somebody help Blanca? I used to clean my house myself, but now I pay for cleaning. Excellent. I pay for a maid. Yo pago una muchacha. Very good. Thank you. All right. Now, guys, we are going to move forward and we're going to be looking at the following activity, which is going to be the platform. Section 2.0, lesson objective. Section 2.0. Lesson objective, learn how to describe problems in English using countable and non-countable nouns. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to describe problems in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You'll also learn about common and non-countable nouns, including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if a noun is countable or non-countable. An English oral comprehension audio exercise is included. We're going to listen to the countable and non-countable nouns. Everybody listen to the video and take notes at this moment. Hi everyone. By the end of this class you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used.
First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars. But I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using whether they're count or non count. So, for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Um, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions or would you like for me to repeat the video? I would like to repeat the video.
All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Does anybody have a question right now? A question at this moment. All right, we're gonna watch the video one more time and then maybe you have a question. Okay. Yeah. Listen, please. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count okay. nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in Can my everybody city hear? because there are too many. Can everybody hear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Audio yes. program, which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're gonna look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking those are a little bit difficult to count so let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non count nouns so if we think about things like water wood ice air oxygen English Spanish these are subjects traffic furniture milk wine sugar rice meat flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we wanna use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're gonna listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there 
too much pollution in your city and as you're answering these questions that I just posted I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using so tell me whether the nouns that I'm using whether they're count or non count so for example traffic is the first one is that count or non count um, police officers is that count or non count um, buses is that count or non count and pollution is that count or non count or non count um, All right, guys, for this activity, I want you to work in pairs and I want you to tell me if the word traffic, buses, police officers, pollution, I want you to tell me if these are countable or non countable. I want you to tell me in your notebook. Uh, I see that Nadia, do you have a question? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Uh, we can use fewer, fewer, only, only we uh, count, count nothing. Fewer. Or we can use fewer of not counters. Mm, for example, if I say to you, You could say there were you were cars in two thousand ten. Yes, you will use fewer with countable nouns. Another question? Another question? No, teacher. Okay, okay. Yes, no, yes, we, we can hear you, we can hear you. In my notebook, uh, um, in physical, or my notebook. In, in yeah, physical, phys or... physical in paper, oh, physical. yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. So fewer is used for countable nouns. For example, I ate fewer pupusas on Sunday. Okay. I, I usually eat three pupusas, but Sunday I ate two. Another question? All right, let's get started. You will have five minutes. We are going to change our partners. Let's go. Good evening. Good evening. Let's let's start. Who begins? Uh, you? <laughs> Um, uh, or Ricardo, I think that count now is are, are there are there any 
police officer in your city is count now. Can you repeat, please? Per force. Bye. Uh -huh. entendí, entendí que teníamos que clasificar cuáles de las, de las oraciones que estaban ahí, cuáles eran contables, cuáles se podían ¿Ah? contar y cuáles eran nombres no contables. Uh -huh. Y entiendo de que todos aquellos que comienzan con is there son no conta. Y aquellos que comienzan con are there son conta. Uh -huh. Son no, contan no. Uh -huh. No sé si ustedes piensan lo mismo. La regla, eso no es una regla. Ricardo. No, 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 yo le digo que según la estructura que, que está ahí, este, entiendo que esos son los contables y los no contables. Porque los que comienzan con AR, todos se pueden, son nombres contables. Eh, ah, no, está. perdón. Es que, ¿tiene eh, que al final de la, de la, de la del video. Lo que ah. pasa es que, por ejemplo, la leche no se puede contar. Vaya, pero... La harina tampoco, o sea, eh, son, son cosas que no se pueden contar. En cambio, un carro, los carros, eh, los oficiales de policía, los lápices, sí podemos identificar cuántos son. Corre correcto, por eso le digo que son contables. Los policías... Vaya, ¿qué, ¿qué actividad entendimos que vamos a hacer, por ejemplo? Eso que usted dijo, de identificar cuáles son contables y cuáles son no contables. Ajá, eh, pero yo la verdad comprendí que era entre las últimas que salen en el video, pero si son a dar ejemplo, es que la verdad estaba, estoy trabajando, así que me puse otra cosa ahí. Y entendí solo esa parte que, que habían ahí que habían que identificar. ¿Qué sección es? Perdón que yo también estaba. La, dos, la, la sección 2, el primer video. 2. Punto, permítanme. Punto 1. 2.1. Sí. No vamos por la 3. No. Mm. Y usted con ah, sí, con pero eh, un, una cosita que quisiera decir sí, eh, eh, cuando la diferencia está en cuando vamos a usar tu más, tu men. Porque ambos estamos diciendo que son muchos. Pero es diferente. Tu men y tu más. Igual a few o less. Sí. Eh, o o few, fewer, que es sí. menos. Sí. ¿Verdad? Que es para los con, contan. No. Ajá. Sí. Y es, también es menos. Pero para no contar. Como few o fewer o a few uh -huh. es un poco. Uh -huh. Un poco, sí. ¿verdad? Un poco también a little es un poco también. Entonces son diferentes usos. Too much, too many, eh, a little, uh, a lot of podría ser. Dema sí. enough, enough que es demasiado ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, perdón es suficiente entonces sí. no... right. welcome back Blanca welcome back Alejandro welcome back Carlos welcome back Jessica welcome back Boris 
Okay, let me have one volunteer. I want you to tell me is traffic countable or non countable? Jessica. I non countable. Non countable. Very good. Let me have Andrea, police officers, countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Let me have Alejandro, buses, countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. And the last one, Elba, pollution, is that countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, uncountable, correct. Excellent. All right. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at section 2.2, .2, which is the knowledge check. You are going to complete which of the following options is not a countable noun. What are some examples of non countable nouns? Three options. What are some examples of countable nouns? Choose three options. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? Answer the question. And why is there too much traffic? Answer the question. You will have five minutes and then we will check together. Let's do this. Hi, Andrea. This part, uh, it's, ya lo hicimos. No sé cómo se dice. Oh, everybody already did it? Teacher. Hi. Eh, mi Katia. Eh, yes, Hi, Katia. This part, I, co I confuse with my partner because or did or do the this exercise. Oh, okay. Finish. Okay, okay let's yes. check it out. Let's check it out. Eh, go ahead, okay, Katia. Teacher. Number one, please. Okay, teacher. Which of the following option is not a count noun? The, um, is the number three parking? Parking is correct because it's a place. Yes, teacher. Parking space, very okay, good. Andrea, number two. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, what are some examples of non-count nouns? A water, a good, good, or no, I don't know wood. what's the pronunciation. Wood, 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 and air, air, air. Good job. Very good, Andrea. Thank you. Uh, let me have Elba Carolina, number three. Oh, uh, this. That's, oh, camera, 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 and book. What are some examples of countable nouns, camera, and books? Good, very good, correct. And number four, Yanira Mendoza, number four. Mm. Why do... The buses cause too much pollution. And the buses can run in the The buses cause, cause too much pollution because they, they are old. Because they are old. Good, good. And the last one, the last one, Jessica. Why is there too much traffic? Um, because there are too many, uh, no, 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 because there are too, too many cars. Correct. Because there are Teacher, too many cars. I have a question. Yes. And in the last one, what means pedestrians? Pedestrian. Uh, pedestrians are the people walking in the streets. 
Those are pedestrians. Ah, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Como peatones. Correct, so peatones. peatones okay. Yes, pedestrian okay. pass, correct, yes. All right, another question in regards to this vocabulary. Another question in regards to this vocabulary. Yes, I, uh, in the answer to, mm -hmm. no, question to, mm -hmm. uh, good, good. Uh, would, would, would. Wah, wah. Wood, wood, madera, wood. Another question? Okay, who can tell me what information we talked about in today's class? What information did we talk about in today's class? What did you learn today? The count nouns and non-count nouns. Correct. The countable nouns and the non-countable nouns. It, what is the difference between the countable nouns and the non-countable nouns? What is the difference? The count noun is when can't count. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that, that is correct. The and, then, and the no count noun is when no count, for example, the water, water, mm -hmm. and the Mm -hmm. The traffic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the oh, sand, 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 correct. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay, good. Oh, yeah, teacher, sorry. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. We will continue in tomorrow's class. Please continue working from the videos and the exercises on the platform, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, Good teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye.